dear learners what do you see when you stand outside and look up a blue sky a group of clouds at night you might see a crescent moon stars a satellite however what you are not seeing is the complexity of our atmosphere so what is atmosphere let's understand it first an atmosphere is a blanket or layer of gases surrounding our planet earth or other celestial body it contains the air that we breathe and is held near the surface of the planet by earth's gravitational attraction earth's atmosphere is composed of about 78% nitrogen 21% oxygen and 1% other gases including carbon dioxide argon and water vapors the earth's atmosphere has five distinct layers that are determined by the changes in temperature that happen with increasing altitude and pressure extending from the earth's surface to outer space these layers are known as troposphere stratosphere mesosphere thermosphere and exosphere respectively these five different layers provide protection and also makes life possible on earth and now in this video we will discuss more about these layers individually troposphere the troposphere is the lowest layer in the earth's atmosphere it extends upward to about 12 km from the surface of the earth it is the densest layer and is filled with many different gases the troposphere contains 75% of all air in the atmosphere most clouds appear in this layer because 99% of water vapor in the atmosphere is found here the temperature in the troposphere also decreases with height the top of this layer is referred as tropopause also most aviation take place here including in the transition region between the troposphere and the stratosphere stratosphere located between approximately 12 and 50 km above our surface the stratosphere is best known as home to earth's ozone layer in this layer the temperature increases as we go up higher this is because ozone molecules in this layer absorb high energy ultraviolet light from the sun and convert it into heat it is nearly cloud and weather free layer and also the highest part of the atmosphere that jet planes can reach mesosphere located between about 50 and 80 km above earth surface the mesosphere gets progressively colder with altitude the top of this layer is the coldest place found within the earth system with an average temperature of about minus 85 degree centigrade that is minus 120 degree fahrenheit the water vapor present at the top of the mesosphere forms the highest cloud in earth's atmosphere most meteors burn up in this layer rocket power aircraft can reach the mesosphere the transition boundary which separate the mesosphere from the stratosphere is called the stratopause thermosphere thermosphere lies above the mesosphere and is located between about 80 to 700 km above earth surface and this is the region where the temperature increases as you go higher up temperature in the upper thermosphere can range from about 500 degree centigrade to 2000 degree centigrade or even higher this temperature increase is caused due to the absorption of energetic ultraviolet and x-ray radiation from the sun satellites orbit earth within the thermosphere it is both cloud and water vapor free layer where auroras that is the northern lights and the southern lights are sometimes seen the lowest part of this layer is ionosphere where electrically charged atoms and molecules are formed and radio signals are reflected back to earth exosphere located between about 700 to 10000 km above earth surface the exosphere is the highest layer of earth's atmosphere where its top merges with the solar wind molecules found in this layer are of extremely low density and escape into space while there is no weather in the exosphere the auroras are sometimes seen in the lowest part so have you ever wondered what would happen if the earth lost its atmosphere let's look into some key points that highlight its significance in the absence of atmosphere birds and planes would fall from the sky although we can't see air it has a mass that supports flying objects the sky would turn black the sky gets its blue color due to the atmosphere gases and particles in the earth atmosphere scatter sunlight in all directions blue light is scattered more than any other color this is why we can see a blue sky most of the time there would be no sensation of sound without atmosphere as sound requires a medium to travel all organisms that breathe air to survive would die in the absence of atmosphere i hope you like the video for more informational content do not forget to subscribe thanks for watching